Welcome to Rage You Nerds, I'm Mr. Cack, and you're about to watch us do something funny, silly, or goofy. We hope that you enjoy this content. If you do, please leave a comment below letting us know specifically what you like. Or let us know what you would like us to do. We're all about pleasing the people. Hit that subscribe button, hit that little thumbs up and like the video for us. And if you want to keep up to date with all of our nerdy content, hit that notification bell. We call it... Smash the dinghy. Alright, enjoy. We love you. Bye. Uh, welcome back to Rage You Nerds. I'm Mr. Cack. That's Jared. We're here to have discussions. Beetlejuice 2 sequel is a go, huh? And Jenna Ortega? And the original cast? And every time they say that, they don't mean Alec Baldwin? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in jail right now. Uh, so it's gonna be the- what- what they mean by that is Michael Keaton? Check. Um, Winona Ryder as Lydia Dietz? Check. Catherine O'Hara as Lydia Dietz's mother, or stepmother, check. And now Jenna Ortega. <laughs> and that's what they mean by <laughs> by all the, the originals returning. <laughs> so is it going to be like uh, Winona Ryder went out and shacked up with somebody and like Jenna Ortega is her kid? Because that <laughs> feels like the most logical thing that could happen. I saw a Facebook comment that said, we're going to find out that Luis Guzman <laughs> hooked up with, with Lydia Dietz. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a fun callback to Jenna Ortega's father in the Wednesday uh, uh, yes. TV series. Yes. Where Luis Guzman is Gomez. Um, well, she'd be perfect for it, I think. Um, uh, I, I, I think Tim Burton just fell in love with her working with her and now she's probably going to be in every Tim Burton movie she's, until he stops. Is she the new Johnny Depp? I think she is the new Johnny Depp. He she's seems to Johnny really Depp. be taken by her and like he's he's one of those directors that like collects people and then just has them in everything. But no like I feel like Jenna Ortega is right up Tim Burton's alley because like <clears throat> from her time on Disney um it was very quaint and like and, and like most Disney stars. Now she didn't go all out like some of them did. Um, she still she still possesses some of her dignity. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's she she's great at uh, like I have. I'm not even joking. I've I've seen nothing in, that has uh, Jenna Ortega has been in that I did not like one or two that I was like, nah, she probably wouldn't have been good at this. She probably wouldn't have been the best cast to this. No, I mean she's she's phenomenal. She's I put her up there with um with uh, Phoebe. Uh, oh gosh, McKenna Grace. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's um, what we 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 told ourselves story tales about George Washington, the man who chopped down a cherry tree and can never tell a lie, whose teeth inevitably fell out in old age, and he was like, "You can't do this if I'm going to be president." He may, may not have he, said that. I don't know, but they were I like, just, "Well, sir, we've got an idea. We'll take teeth from human dead people, put them in a mandrel kind of thing, and you can." Put that in your mouth. And for whatever reason, George Washington said, okay. <laughs> I just wish I could time travel to go back to when George Washington was like in it, like a pre like when he's president and be like one of the, the opposing people that's just, you're lying through someone else's teeth, George. <laughs> Get your shit together. Uh -huh. Um, but I can't, I can't time travel. And that feels like a very useless thing to do with time travel, but I think I'd rather be a time traveling person that's really like petty. Did I? <laughs> that did just I goes and he's a complete jackass. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to do this. We'll have to dedicate part of a show to this one time. I read an article one time about Time Cop and how Time Cop, time, <laughs> time cop is the perfect time travel movie because it never really attempts to explain time travel. It just kind of just throws stuff against the wall and makes it work. And they're like, you can't go back to, you know. Two matter, you know, one matter cannot occupy the same self at the same space at the same time. They're like, is that a rule? 
But no, it's not. But it sounded good. <laughs> Tom Cop. <laughs> I just, I just want to hear. I just want to hear the movie, the movie trailer voice say "Time Cop." <laughs> That's all I want in life. Time Cop. In a world where a man cannot go back and say, this is a really good article, actually. And that's why I was like, you know what? I want to watch Time Cop again. And Time Cop, by the way, if you haven't seen it, Time Cop, Jean-Claude Van Darn from 1994. uh, Wow. Bend the line. (laughs) Rock your body in time. Okay. I believe you. Shake, 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 senora. Shake some Uh, (laughs) <laughs> we need we need another dinner. So uh, to get back to the Beetlejuice two of this all, this has been yeah. something that people have been talking about since 1990, uh-huh. uh, because Beetlejuice came out what 1987? Seven, yeah, because because Batman, Batman, Batman was 89 right, yeah. and everyone was pissed off. Beetlejuice is Batman. <laughs> kind of like how we were all upset about everyone that ever gets casted for everything nowadays. Yeah, 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 pretty much. It's nothing new. Outrage is nothing new. People. The fact that we're, uh, people are outraged, yeah, since they existed, <laughs> like <laughs> since since we realized that we are softer than dinosaurs, we're like, well, we're gonna criticize the shit out of you because you're not a dinosaur. Uh, erg, look at me. I made a will. <laughs> uh, erg made a will better than me. I will kill him. Yeah. So. <laughs> what we're talking about, Beetlejuice 2? <laughs> I want a dinner sequence. I want another dinner sequence where, where what, what is, what is song, what song is playing when they do the dinner? In which movie? Daylight, movie? come man, we want to go home. Yes, yes. We said day, <laughs> we said day. <laughs> and they're like dancing around. <laughs> uh, six foot, seven foot, eight foot. March <laughs> like the the shrimp hands, man. The shrimp hands. Oh, that's still to my that core. Seance. The seance always always like, oh. scared me when like they bring him back and get they got the wedding gown and the tux, and they're all like old ghosts. Oh yeah, his teeth fall out. His George Washington teeth fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. And all, of a, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, she turns into Are you George Washington? Oh, the I little- can never tell a lie. <laughs> The little, the little creature guy that is, um, that is, uh, uh, in charge of the ceremony for yes. the wedding. Oh, he's so creepy. He's so creepy. Man. Tim Burton's mind has to just be a hellscape of nightmares. He's, well, I'm, I mean, you know, I don't want to say that because I've had my fair share of nightmares and I never went on to produce or anything like that because I'm not a nut job. Wow. Uh, I'm not saying Tim Burton is a no, nut he job. is. Have you seen him? Like, have you, I mean, have you right, seen pictures right, so of Tim Burton? Uh, listen, all right, all right. So Tim Burton is fucking crazy. So anyway, um, let's get past that for just a second. And we let, let's well, actually no, let's not get past it. Let's take fucking crazy and put it with brilliant imagination. And there you have Beetlejuice. That's what Beetlejuice is. Effing crazy meets brilliant imagination. I saw a comment on the Facebook um, article. Is that like someone, the Walmart? Yes. Where someone said, uh, if the movie, if, if they make a sequel and the movie doesn't start with Beetlejuice still in the waiting room, <laughs> they have dropped the ball. <laughs> and after reading that, Take note, internet. I'm going to be so upset. If the movie doesn't start with Beetlejuice still sitting in the waiting room. Yes, of course. Hey, what do you know? Hey, for? come on! Come on! <laughs> Get on! <laughs> the, 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 him, him with like the the little spikes coming out of his body and he's got like the little, you know, like his voice sounds a little miniature. He's like, come on! <laughs> yeah. He gets into a wreck. <laughs> They could go so many directions with he this. Goes, he goes drinking at the Roach Hooker house. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, movie has to be made. This movie this, has to be made. It's so funny. Beetlejuice is so funny. And then there's moments where you realize this undead guy wants to marry a 15-year-old. And it's like, good God. It's actually dark. It's actually traumatically dark. Hey, baby. For, <laughs> Forget the fact that <laughs> the whole movie premise starts off with two people dying. <laughs> dying. <laughs> <laughs> and that there's a whole sequence of them going into the afterlife and you see like <laughs> I still get bothered by the the guy that comes in hanging, he's flattened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, and then there's a crowd. There's like an actual theater audience crowd behind her while while she's talking to them, watching us as we watch them. We, we should totally do a segment like this is tonight's special on Tim Burton and why he is in the head. Oh, we're here for your daughter, Chuck. Here for your daughter, fifteen <laughs> year old. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, that snake, the snake Beetlejuice. Oh, uh, fucking nightmare, man! Just a nightmare. Snake euphemism. Euphemism. Euf- 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 that word. Euphemism for but it's just it's just terrifying looking. It is, and it looks like Beetlejuice, but like he's not involved somehow. <laughs> We're here for no. your daughter. <laughs> I'm here for your daughter. <laughs> Michael Keaton's a treasure. Michael Keaton. Yes, he is. Uh, yes, to, he is. To see Michael Keaton come back as Beetlejuice is probably one step down of seeing him come back as Batman. But if we in these next five years could get both of those things to happen, uh, then. I would, I would, I would, yeah, I wouldn't understand what the, the 2020s, man, what a, what a weird time to be alive. We're in the twi- oh, dude, we're in the 20s now. We can, we, we have lived to say we're in the 20s now. Get your flapper dresses out, ladies. I went to buy cigarettes at a store and, um, the lady asked to card me and I showed her my ID. She was like, okay, cool. Thanks. And she's like, wow, you did that awful quick. And she's like, yeah, I saw the 19. 19. <laughs> And I went, damn. <laughs> I don't know. It is kind of cool to say that I was born in a different century than these kids. So I, I figured out that I know why. I, I, I'm i telling you, Mr. TJ, Nerd TJ out there, Nerd Travis, whatever we're calling him, he didn't want to come on tonight. Because, and I know why. Do you know why? Why? Do you know why? Why? Because. Tell he, me Why? Ain't nothing. Actually, that makes sense. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Y'all, Tell me why. TJ, whatever you call him now, just turned the big four zero. I never want to hear. Go ahead. You say Jared is not right behind him. Dirty pop. <laughs> um okay speedle juice too <laughs> yes oh yeah oh, what we're talking yes uh, i i, I like no, we it. did it in ortega is fabulous and everything she does we